what is up youtube welcome to another video today is a long awaited for the much asked for subscriber breakdown video sorry it's been a long time waiting but it's here i'm gonna be taking a look at you guys's technique uh, i made a post about a month ago um, asking you guys to comment down below if you wanted me to look at your videos i chose um a few guys there was a lot of people that sent videos but i just chose a few guys at random john's gonna be helping me over here make sure you subscribe to his channel podcast every tuesday and thursday before i get this started leave a like on the video let's get this video to what, what would be a good number john you choose a number choose uh, a number i like 3500 likes is that the is that the is that the goal 3500 likes let's right. get it to 3500 so make sure you like it right now as i look through these videos we're also going to be comparing it to the goat his name is jordan kilgannon right here um and this jump he has really good technique on so as we look at two foot technique we're going to be referring back to this video to show you guys what we're looking for this guy's name is mason broyles not gonna lie i chose a couple of these videos because you guys put my name on the title so i was like yeah, you no know, you went you went through the struggle you can't say no look at that. that's really good so not gonna lie me and john watched this before this video started and we, we freaked out at his progress we were like what the hell like he just punches that one hander. We yeah. Have the rim height, but. To to be honest, this guy has pretty good jump technique. Like just naturally, um, there isn't a lot that I would say needs work. Um, now, one thing, John, what's what's our favorite thing to tell people when it comes to to two foot jumping? What's what's the biggest key? The number for one technique? thing that people don't do is they do not fully extend their knee on the penultimate step at toe off or get close at least so what's what's penultimate step at toe off first of all let's 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 yeah, give, right. these we'll give these people the the vocab the low down when his foot touches the ground that's called touchdown and then as right his here. foot so his heel touches the ground and then as he rolls there's mid support and then when your toe leaves the ground that's toe off so that's, that's toe off right tell. there Boop. yeah so at toe those are usually good landmarks that you can use or like time stamps for every athlete right because every athlete is going to have touchdown mid mid support and then toe off so at toe off of his penultimate stride when his toe and his is penultimate stride is his penultimate stride is that really big stride that two foot jumpers take yeah before they plant the last two contacts so as he's towing off right here he actually does a really good job actually in his first clip i i thought it was a little bit better right here that's touchdown that's touchdown of the penultimate stride yeah mid support mid support toe off and right here he actually reaches the exact position that that we're always looking for is this big split you want this leg to be as close to a straight line as possible and then we also want your leg to create a very shallow angle with the ground so if you were to think a line being drawn straight across here we want it as close to that to the ground as possible some jumpers that don't have as good of technique they're gonna have a high angle so their leg will be straighter right here yeah. and then like that so he actually did um really well with getting a good split on on his penultimate step um so what's this what's this part of the of the right. jump called so this is this is the plant this is the plant foot so you have the plant foot and then you have the block foot so he's planting his left leg and this is touchdown of that plant foot yep and then here is touchdown of the block foot right so I think when I watch this jump, one thing you'll notice with really, really, really super elite jumpers is their pelvis will translate side to side in the frontal plane when you watch it from the back. So if you watch like, and it actually does move in the transverse plane too. So transverse plane would be your pelvis moving like this, sagittal is like this, frontal plane is like this. Um, so he is not really using the frontal plane that much or the transverse plane. He's kind of just like straight ahead, but he's got a really mm -hmm. big split, which is one of the hardest things to fix. All right. So on this jump right here, he actually, this is probably the jump with the worst technique in the video. So it was funny cause he started jumping higher and higher as the video went on, but his technique kind of started getting a little worse. It looks like he's too close too. Yeah. Like so this is something when guys don't have that full split on a penultimate step, uh, one of the most common problems is you're starting your penultimate stride too close to the hoop. Guys, what they'll usually do is a mistake. They'll either be short, short or long, short. In his case, he is short, short. So he takes a short step here and then a short penultimate step here, right? Common jumpers that do that are like Nico Christie does it, Cordell Dunks does it. Travis Reynolds. Travis all day, Travis. Dan yeah. does it a little bit actually, interestingly. Oh, uh, Justin Darlington. Yeah, well his is like another, what I would even call just like a 
he's just a jump stop. All right, and then if you see right here at toe off the penultimate, you don't have that full extension of the leg. All right, so we want this leg to be straight right here. Why is he not fully extending? He's starting his penultimate too close. There's a, literally a dude right there. If he <laughs> does it longer, he's gonna run into the dude. So what I would tell him to do is I would start the penultimate maybe somewhere around here. Yeah, like the elbow. Around there. The elbow? Yeah. Like the elbow, yeah. I would start around there and then that would allow him to get a full split on the jump. The All other right? thing that I like to say or cue is like falling off of the penultimate stride and not rushing it. So like really good guys, it'll feel like they jump off of it. But early on, like to get that big split, and to get the foot to stay behind you. Um, like if you actually play this video of Jordan and go to the point where he's really pushing off of his penultimate stride, um, most of the time it's very, very lax and it's more like you're falling off of this step. Right so here, like he's so. Low, he's really low. <laughs> yeah, and look look at the, the angle. Remember yeah. how we talked about the shin angle compared to the ground? Yeah. Boom, so super that, shallow that's angle. That's like standard biomechanics. Like you look at the shin angle, that's usually gonna tell yeah. you the direction of force application. So he's pushing really horizontally, but if you watch his knee and his hip, he moves into knee and hyper, hip hyperextension. Angle. Yeah, so push and off. something I also say is like mobility is really important. Yeah. This requires a lot of ankle mobility right here. And then as you go into full extension, kind of oh, I missed it. it. Yeah. yeah, it's really quick. <laughs> We're in slow-mo and we missed it. Yeah, that's why he's... Oh! oh! Don't take that out. Bleep it. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Here we go. And okay, it's another. Frame. It's gonna. I'm gonna miss it. All right. Yeah. Just don't. Oh, you did even. Let me do it. Let me do oh, it. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, we did it. All right. Sweet. So uh, this is near perfect. You can see. Like, is it totally straight? No. But it. That's why we call it a long split because it looks like a forward split. Um, that's probably the most specific stretch you can do. His pelvis is a little bit anteriorly tilted. Um, on usually when you see jumpers like absolutely max out uh, and they have really good jump technique they will get a very 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 long split he's going off the dribble here so he probably doesn't have as much speed pushing off and like even isaiah doesn't lock out his knee when he does it but it's you like, want to think about locking it yeah. out though <laughs> do you do you actually think about that something like yeah that? i think of i think what i it's one of the only cues i think about in my approach it's relax 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 and then i think push really hard and then jump really hard <laughs> that's, that's right. basically it that's 10 foot Shout out nails. Oh, one footer, one footer. I can already tell you, dude slaps the ground. Knee is very bent. So this this stride actually isn't terrible. Um, out in front, you're le it's he's leaning forward a lot, which isn't good. Usually at this point, you can have a slight forward lean, but you definitely coming off of this step, your angle, the angle of the torso should start to roll backwards. So here, oh really, he's actually leaning forward more. At this point, he definitely needs to lean back. Fine. So he, he does start to get back a little bit, but you can tell like, see how bent his knee is here. It's like all the momentum is gonna go forward at that point. Um, he's probably gonna have too much forward rotation. He doesn't really break or block the jump super well. Ideally at this point, you would see a straight line from his, his heel all the way up through his head, leaning backwards. Uh, obviously that's not gonna happen here. So he's gonna kind of like, might as well just stand in place and jump off. All right, here we go. All right, so here we got Shaquille. One <clears throat> foot jump, really good one foot technique. Yeah, very good. All right, so you can see touchdown there. Watch his torso angle as he rolls through. See how he's leaning back at this point? That's very different. He's not even off the penultimate step and his hips are starting to get through and the shoulders are starting to get back. Now that he's planted this that foot, position. he's almost got a straight line. If you count, or if you go up from his, his heel or his shin and you look at that angle, he's all the way through that that same side shoulder, he's got a straight line. So Compare it to the other guy's position. Look at that, it even gets a little bit better as he starts to go up through here. And the angle doesn't, this is gonna bias this away from And like this no position. knee bend. Yeah, it doesn't really bend his knee at all. Drives this hip up super, super high. You can tell he's got the correct takeoff angle. So like your attack angle when you dunk off one, you usually wanna coast across the rim versus straight at it. You can tell he starts uh, like approaching towards the elbow, like starting outside the three point line, comes towards the elbow and then jumps across the rim, which is way different. Oh no! All right. So All compare right. the alignment. So now, plants here, not terrible, right? Oh, leaning forward more instead of back. And this is his touchdown. You can see that alignment is definitely not there, even from the shin through that opposite shoulder. It's very, very different. This is like, a vertical push it looks more like a squat than it does like a deflection off the ground this is all just loading your knee up a ton whereas like good one foot jumping is more of a lateral action and you good one foot jumpers don't get knee pain 
No, they don't because they push the right, the correct direction usually. If so, you jump poorly off one foot, then or if you're a freak, yeah, you get pain. So we covered a two foot jumper. We covered a one foot jumper. Um, I wanted to get through more people, but we can just we just got really into depth with those two guys. If you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button. Let's try to get this to 3.5k likes. Um, and leave a comment about everything you learned in the video, what you're gonna um, work on. Um, THPstrength.com. Go to THPstrength.com if you wanna get coached by us both personally. And yeah. I will write your training plan. That's it, that's it, how I got. I will look at your dunk technique. <laughs> Be elite. Bye. That's it. <laughs>